Hi guys, so recently I got a request from Juliet India for a very natural look um, and she told me to kind of be inspired by Astrid, Astrid Burge Frisbee and I loved that idea. So I did this look, um, it's so easy, I tried to use very minimal products um, but it's still very flattering and I think that anyone can do this really. So I hope you like this, I hope you like how natural and easy it is. Um, so if you want to see how to get this look then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with my foundation and I'm going to use Chanel Vita Lumiere foundation because it's very light coverage but it still gives a nice healthy look to the skin. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers just to make this even easier than it already is. Now I'm just going to apply a very light coverage of that. I only put one layer on my skin because I don't want it to look cakey at all. So any other areas that you feel you might need more coverage, go in with your concealer. I'm going to use MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. So I'm going to use this again with my finger because I really want to warm up the product. So I just put some on my finger and I warm it up in between my fingers. I'm going to use some under my eye and on my eyelid to even out all that area because she doesn't look like she wears much makeup but her skin is just naturally flawless. So I want this to be really well blended so that you can't tell that you're wearing too much. And now take this concealer wherever else you might need some more coverage. So for me that would be my chin and around my nose. Now I'm going to let this foundation set as I do my eye makeup. So the eyes is really, really easy. All I'm going to do is take a fluffy bending, blending brush like this. And this is Sephora number 29. Any fluffy brush will do. And I'm going to use Bourjois um, bronzing powder in number 51. Just grab a little bit on the brush, not too much and you're just going to apply this right in the crease. Now I didn't use a primer here because I already have concealer on my lid so that gives a good base for the bronzer to um, adhere to. So I don't feel like I need more primer but if you do get really oily lids then go ahead and use a primer before you apply this bronzing powder. And that's it with the eyeshadow. Now just curl your eyelashes and apply a tiny bit of mascara just on the top lashes. I'm going to use a mascara that gives a very natural finish and that is the Full In Finish Mascara by Maybelline. Again, only apply it to your top lashes. And that is it for the eyes. So, so simple. Now I'm going to set my foundation with a very, very light layer of my Origins Multigrain Makeup SPF 14 and it, mine is in light medium just a tiny bit of this because her makeup isn't dewy at all but it's still very very natural so I'm going to use my MAC 150 brush remember to tap off all the excess on that brush and just dab that all over okay so now that I've applied a very light layer of my powder I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm just going to use the same bronzer that I used in the crease of my eyes with this Real Techniques brush it's the blush brush so just a tiny bit on the tip of that brush and just through your cheekbones. Now, she doesn't seem to use blush all the time, but sometimes she does and it's a very, very natural blush. So this blush is perfect for the look and it's Benefit Dandelion Blush. It's a really nice blue tone pink, but it's so, so sheer, so it's perfect for this look. And I'm using just an angled brush by Sephora, it's number 40. So I'm going to use this not on the apples of the cheeks, again just where I put that bronzer but just a tiny bit above it. Now onto the lips. She has a very very natural colour and sometimes it has a bit of a glossy finish. So I am going to use number 17's lipstick. It's the Mirror Shine line and this one is in Belle because it's pretty close to my lip colour so it's a very natural colour. So that's the final look. It's so easy, so quick, so natural, but you can really tell that I do just look more alive and I have more of a healthy glow to me than I did before. So I hope you found this helpful and please request more videos below if you have any that you want and don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep updated with all my videos and thank you so much for watching.